welcome back to the RootBSD Technology Channel. Today I'm going to be showing off my OpenBSD uh, 7.1 beta desktop. Um, right here. So we're running uh, the beta version of 7.1, which is about to be released any week now. So um, this is pretty much going to be close to the release candidate. Uh, let's see. And our window manager is the uh, OpenBSD's own COM window manager. And this window manager, window manager was originally developed for OpenBSD. And it has been security audited. It is using Pledge. And um, it's uh, this is a, a very advanced Unix-like system. Um, it runs very well. Uh, I have full hardware support. Uh, all my ports are working and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really excited. Um, when I, when, I, when I say my ports, my previous video, I was running FreeBSD and the, uh, the head jack and microphone jack in the front and in the back were uh, not working. I don't know why, but it works out of the box here at OpenBSD. And uh, I'm not, I don't even, I haven't even set up the, uh, the GPU, the graphics card. I'm just using mode setting and uh, PyCom as my compositor. Uh, I haven't done any kind of modifications to the default configs. It's running stock and it's running really well. Um, so CWM stands for the Calm Window Manager. Just uh, stay cool and keep calm. And uh, the only thing um, is I've opted for a smaller font so I could do more cool things with my uh, with my terminal. So Control Alt M uh, makes it full screen. And also, and in, in, uh, I have it set to where just Windows key Enter will give me a new terminal. Um, so yeah, I, I know you guys uh, know me that I used to be a big uh, Rat Poison, uh, Starfish Window Manager fanboy, but uh, I switched over to CWM because honestly, it just it handles uh, dual screen so much better than Rat Poison. Dual screen is kind of a pain in the neck on Rat Poison, and uh, just all in all, I've kind of gotten kind of gotten used to it. I kind of I like it now. Um, it just took me a while. I've known about Calm Window Manager for forever, and I've always just kind of shied away from using it, but uh, I actually really enjoy it. Um, it's a, it says right here, it's a window manager for X11 which contains many features that concentrate on the efficiency and transparency of window management while maintaining the simplest and most pleasant aesthetic. You know, it really does try to just stay out of the way. And it's super simple. I mean, it's just written with uh, K-I-S-S-M-I, keep it simple, stupid. And, uh, just, you know, the man page will just right off the bat give you just the main key bindings. Just kind of how to navigate around. And I believe... This uh, th uh, the, this window manager was originally a fork of nine window managers. So, uh, from what I've been told, it has Plan Nine um, kind of concepts built into it. Um, you know, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, see, it was developed by Marius Eriksson, uh, Niels Provost, and uh, discussion with many others. So, uh, yeah, and it was first appeared in OpenBSD uh, 4.2. Oh, here we go. Here's the history. CWM was originally inspired by Evil Window Manager, but was rewritten from scratch due to limitations in the Evil Window Manager codebase. The From Scratch rewrite borrowed some code from 9 Window Manager. However, that code has since been removed and or, re or, or rewritten. So, there you go. Uh, let's see here. And also, yes, I, I, I am using Tmux by default. Uh, I'm using Xterm. Now, the only downside with Xterm is you don't get uh, transparency in the uh, terminals. But for some people, having that transparency um, can be distracting. So I think you know, getting work done, this kind of a system where you just have this black uh, slate in the background, uh, it reminds me of kind of more classical computing. And the great thing about uh, Tmux, of course, is that, um, let's see here. We get the uh, the split frames that we can do. So a control B uh, parentheses will split it like that. Uh, that's a, a, a horizontal split. And if you want to do a vertical split, it's control B and then um, parentheses. The parentheses key. I know it's kind of a weird key binding, but yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen this kind of uh, screen manipulation before. Uh, control B up sends you up. Control B. So there we go. So now we can do four-way uh, uh, multiplexing with the terminal. 
OpenBSD does have a built-in um, system st status program called SysStat. So you can look at a lot of uh, detailed information about memory usage. Uh, pressing one this puts you, uh, there's one, two, three. You can see the different uh, modes. It can tell you the CPU temperature. Uh, right now, uh, 61 degrees, running a little hot. Uh, let's see, it's an older computer. IP, so I'll probably have to cut that part out. <laughs> Let's see, 192, yeah, yeah. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, let's see here. So also, what's really neat about uh, C Window Manager is a keyboard centric, but it does like to incorporate the mouse with the keyboard. So what I can do is if I press the Alt key and hold down the right uh, mouse, it can resize everything like this, and then we can move it like this. But you can't see it because it's going to my other screen here. Um, and uh, on you, I have a menu that I made here that opens Chrome uh, Links, the Links frame, uh, frame Buffer program. Let's see if it opens up. I must not have it installed. Um, yeah, I, I didn't set this stuff up yet. I, I copied this over from my laptop. It's more fleshed out on there. And there's Xcalc. Nice calculator for you. We'll see what the value of pi is. 3.1415927. All right, cool. So yeah, this is a you know peak OpenBSD experience right here, uh, running the native window manager. Um, and uh, let's see. And also, with uh, I'm using a native wallpaper program called OpenBSD Wallpapers, and I modified it to um, to I think it was maximize. Yeah, it'll do uh, X wallpaper maximize, and it'll do um, for now. It's doing the same uh, wallpaper on both screens. I'm gonna see if there's a way I can modify it to give me different wallpapers on each screen. But the cool thing about the OpenBSD uh, back, it's called the OpenBSD Backgrounds Package. And the cool thing about it is that um, it's a lot of photography done by the developers of OpenBSD themselves. So there's some some wallpapers that were uh, photographed by like Theo de Rat, and uh, it, it'll it'll tell you you know Giovanni and stuff like that. And you'll see the names in the in the folder. Uh, let's see where it is. backgrounds <clears throat> so it gives you a uh, landscape larger list portrait uh, if you uh, a list portrait so yeah so you can it'll, it's broken down into the different um, uh, photographers which are also developers of the project you know Gonzalo Kirby Ian Durat so it's a neat program and uh, I have a keybind to control alt P will change the background. Let's see here. You can see. So we just have whatever. Some neat stuff. That that looks that looks like it sucks. You know, wildfires just suck. Um, so yeah. Iguana. Stuff like that. Yeah, and I'm using, um, there's different, everything's uh, staged into groups, so I'm using uh, Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3 to kind of cycle between these different groups of windows that I have set up. Um, I do have FNIFI installed on the system. If you don't know what that is, FNIFI is kind of OpenBSD's answer to Wine. <laughs> we try to leverage Mono um, and uh, FNA, which is the um, open source implementation of the XNA. Uh, protocol, which is a .NET programming thing. So games that are developed with uh, XNA, .NET, uh, Mono, uh, they can run 
uh, usually with some you know uh, with some tweaks and patches they can run on OpenBSD. So here's a Windows game called Axiom Verge. We're, I'm going to go ahead and run it right here. And uh, make sure my speaker's on. There we go. And you can see that it's running pretty well. I know it's not as nice as Wine, where, uh, you know, most Windows programs, you know, like 80% of them are working, you know. This is going to be a much smaller subset of video games. But, you know, nevertheless, these are really fun games. There were some good, some, some slappers written in this kind of language or framework. Um, so, I'm just kind of goofing around because I already got my gun. I don't, you know, intend to seriously play this game right now, but you can see that it it's running, uh, it's functional. Hey, don't want to jump right into that guy. Well, anyways, you can see that that's running well. Okay, so also, uh, I do have custom themes for uh, PC Man FM, so I do have uh, this right here, and um, it's pretty self-explanatory, um, just a basic, uh, you know, graphical file manager. Let's see, no, that's not what I wanted. So yeah, PC Man FM, the lightweight file manager using libfm. Most people know uh, this program here. Um, so yeah, so there are limitations to uh, what OpenBSD can do. Um, not everything works perfectly, you know. So that's just kind of like you know the 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 time old you know problem that people have with the BSDs is that there are limitations. Not everything works perfectly, and sometimes you have to put in some work to uh, get things running. You know, acceptably, you know, especially, uh, you know, if you're, if you're just uh, low maintenance and you're, you're trying to do a lot of, like, uh, development, programming, uh, you, or you, uh, there's certain ports in OpenBSD or FreeBSD that you like that work for you. Like, if you're a big Blender person or a big uh, GIMP or uh, Krita or Inkscape. Inkscape, sorry, I, I'm drawing a blank there. Yes, I definitely need Inkscape. So yeah, th that kind of stuff, um, you know, but you know, I, I overall I like the system. Um, I like what the OpenBSD project is doing. I like the research um, and the uh, experimental stuff. They they are very experimental and they are always kind of trying to push the edge on what they can do with the code, the code base. So the code base is very riced out. It's very fleshed out. It's very mature. Um, you know, most people, their complaints are just going to be centered around, you know, how small of a project it is, because they like the OpenBSD code base, but they want, you know, they want the commercial availability that Linux has to all sorts of devices and all the, uh, you know, the uh, home user entertainment uh, perks that have been brought into Linux by one way or another, but those things may not be fully available or fleshed out in the BSDs. So, so that's, you know, that's the, that's the thing. If, if you're somebody that, um, even, even me personally, if you're somebody that you just want to, you know, after a long day at work, just come home and kick up your feet and play some video games and watch some YouTube and probably open BSD may or may not be the best option. Um, on this system, like, uh, if you've watched a couple videos back, I am triple booting uh, three operating systems, so I'm running Linux, OpenBSD, and FreeBSD all on the same, uh, uh, uh hard, well, it's not even a hard drive, it's a Samsung SS, SSD, but, uh, but yeah, um, so, uh, but I'm happy that my audio works perfectly, and I got, uh, a decent video performance on, on this system, and, uh, you know, the web browser, see if it comes up, 
here, uh, Chrome. Chrome is the best web browser for the system, but I can also uh, get Cute Browser and uh, Firefox and stuff like that. Firefox generally uh, has screen tearing issues for some reason, um, whereas uh, you know this is uh, this right here is Mastodon. You know I, I, I do like using the Fediverse, even though there are a lot of crazy people in the Fediverse. <laughs> um, you know, good for. Uh, see, right now I'm I'm learning how to program Ruby. I suck at it, um, so don't, <laughs> don't be asking me questions about programming Ruby because I'm just I'm a noob myself. Um, any day now, OpenBSD is going to release uh, 7.1, so I, uh, look forward to that. Um, but yeah, uh, just a basic, you know, system is not all that special, all that crazy. Uh, I haven't fully uh, dived into all the different things that C Window Manager can do. Um, I know it has uh, like a tags system. Let's see here, better not found. Things tags. Um, I guess not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different window manager. Yeah, see, see, window manager is just bare bones. Really simple. It's really uh, really basic kind of <laughs> in a lot of ways. So I, I really do like that. I like minimalist uh, window managers. I think CWM could even probably give a. Uh, DWM or run for its money in terms of being, uh, you know, in rap boys in terms of being uh, low, low uh, on resources. But yeah, um, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I think I covered every point that I was hoping to cover because I do have a problem where after I make a video I realize, oh, I should have covered this or I should have covered that. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's all. Have a good day. Bye.